Writing a good cover letter is a crucial step in the job search process, yet many people don't write one or put in the time to write an effective one. So how do you write the perfect cover letter? This short video will give you the necessary steps to create an effective cover letter that lands you interviews. We often hear people ask, do I need to send a cover letter? The answer is yes. You should always send a cover letter unless the job posting says otherwise. The point of the cover letter is to give a bit of an introduction as to who you are, your interest in the position, and why you'd think you'd make a good fit. It also adds a human touch to the plain old boring resume. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're going to cover is the format, and then we'll cover things you absolutely need to mention if you want your cover letter to stand out from the hundreds of other job seekers. Okay, let's take a look at how a cover letter should be formatted. As you see in our template, the header should have your name, contact number, and email. You can keep it similar to the header on your resume, but omit your mailing address. You should then include the receiver's name, title, company name, and address. If you can't find the name of the hiring manager, don't include it. You can start the letter as Dear Hiring Manager, but always try to make an effort to find out the hiring manager in charge. You should try to keep your cover letter between half a page to two-thirds of a page long. Remember that most employers spend less than a minute going through your resume and cover letter. No one wants to read an in-depth, page-long cover letter. Three paragraphs is a good length, and we'll go through what each paragraph should contain. We'll then show you an example of an excellent cover letter. Paragraph one should be an introduction to who you are and the position you're applying for. Include where or how you found the opening, the title, and job ID if there is one. Should also lead into the next paragraph by stating a brief summary of your qualifications or your interest in the position. The second paragraph should discuss your qualifications and achievements which show why you're a good fit for the position. Remember that you want to stand out from the hundreds of other candidates that are applying for the job. So don't just give a few examples of what you did in your last position. Show how you went above and beyond. Mention a few examples of quantifiable or measurable achievements in your career. Use compelling language and don't repeat the information in your resume. Try to bring your experience to life. And this will encourage the reader to look into your resume in more detail. In the third and last paragraph, close out by saying that you feel you're a good fit based upon your qualifications. Remember you should include a call of action, which in this case would be inviting you to an interview. And the last thing you should do is thank them for taking the time out to consider you. Let's put this template into action. Here's an example of a great cover letter. Hi, Susan. I'm ready to express my interest in the accounting position you have opened on your company website with the job ID 11220. I'm a certified public accountant and confident that my experience and skill set would be a great match for this position. I have a strong knowledge of accounting principles backed by experience I've gained in the last 12 years. In my previous position, I managed the accounting of a financial consulting firm with over $30 million in revenue. I not only met expectations, but exceeded them by increasing cash flow by $4 million. I helped achieve this by changing our account receivable policy and negotiating better contracts. There's more in depth on my experience and skills in my resume, which I would appreciate you looking over. I am certain that my experience and skill set would make me a great candidate for this position, as well as a great asset to your company. Please give me a call at the number above to schedule an interview at your convenience. I appreciate your consideration and look forward to hearing from you soon. Sincerely, John Smith. So there you have it. Remember these three points in your resume, who you are, your qualifications and how they can benefit the employer and a call to action asking to schedule an interview. Thanks for watching and to read more tips, please visit the link in the description. At ZipJob, we write resumes that land you more interviews, guaranteed. And you can even get a free resume review by clicking the button or visiting zipjob.com.